Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. In last video, we have seen how to create EC2 instance. In this video, we are going to see how to install Nginx in EC2 instance and how to deploy a simple application in EC2 AWS. For that, we required some prerequisites, some basic knowledge, how to create EC2 instance in AWS. In last video, we have seen that how to create EC2 instance and how to create virtual machine in AWS. And in this video, some important part is what is Nginx and what is localhost and we required to learn some basic Linux commands to run this. So without wasting time, let's jump directly to AWS portal. So the first thing is we required to create one EC2 instance in AWS cloud. Here we don't have any EC2 instance. You are using the following Amazon EC2 resources here. Uh, this will show a message like that. You can directly launch instance. In last video we have seen that but we are going to create one EC2 instance here. Web app 2 22. You can give any name. After that we can choose application and OS image. This is Amazon machine image. You can select any machine like Linux, Ubuntu, Windows. I'm going to select Ubuntu here. Ubuntu server 2204 volume type as per your requirement you can choose any machine now key pair you can create key pair or previously if you created you can use that key pair also here i don't have any key pair i'm going to create my key pair that is in dot pem file you can give any name web 22 for any name you can give and create key pair after this Key pair automatically download here. You can use that key pair as a privacy for a privacy. After that network setting here, I'm going to create security group, allow SSH traffic from anywhere. If you are creating any web application that time you can uh, tick mark these options, allow HTTP, allow HTTPS, these options. Now for demo purpose, I'm using this much configuration only. I'm selecting 8 GB GP2 configuration root volume here configuration storage here and simply I'm going to click on launch instance. It will take hardly four to five minutes to create this virtual machine to create this instance EC2 instance directly click on this option. You will get this window like this instance window all the instance whatever you created you can see here your instances created before and whatever you going to create here i have created this web app 22 instance see when you click on this checkbox this will give entire information about our ec2 instance whatever we created network security monitoring security in security you can see inbound outbound rules related to this EC2 instance whatever created we are here for our web application so instance state is pending now and uh, status check is also pending when it is two by two then completely it is working so simply click on refresh button see now my instance is running state but status is initializing it will take hardly two to we, we can say hardly one minute, not longer than one minute. So I'm going to connect directly because my instance state is running here. So connect now EC2 instance connect option. I'm going to select here and simply connect option. See, after this, we are on our virtual machine, which virtual machine Ubuntu machine I have created here. So that configuration this portal shows configuration related to my virtual machine whatever image I selected while doing this now here welcome to Ubuntu 22.043 this system that image I have selected now first I am going to clear my screen okay now here I am going to act as a root user for that the first command is sudo hyphen i okay so here as a root user 
I enter into this machine. After that, I'm going to check updates for my virtual machine for that apt get update command I'm using here. So my system is going to update. When it is completely updated, try for Nginx. So what is Nginx? Nginx is open source software which is used for web serving, caching and uh, lots of application we can use with Nginx. For that we are using Nginx and it is open source. That's why I'm using here Nginx. Now I'm trying to check Nginx is available already available in my system or it is required to install in my system for that type nginx hyphen t i'm going to test nginx for that i'm using nginx hyphen t so here nginx not found but it can be installed with this 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 now type for installing nginx type apt get install nginx now nginx is going to install it will ask do you want to continue or not simply type y that is yes now nginx is going to install and completely install in our system for checking nginx is installed completely or not is it active or not for that purpose type service nginx status i'm going to check the status of my nginx software so now this is showing actively running it is active after this again i'm going to check nginx hyphen t going to test again so here nginx configuration file is available configuration syntax is okay and configuration test is successful this is a test command i'm using here nginx hyphen t this command is useful to test our software is completely installed or not this is for nginx now what is local host the next part is local host so local server environment that can be used to test and run server side script onto your computer so here we check our script on our computer so we can run apache server application php mysql lots of application we can run with this and we can test before launching means what what it is look like before you share it with the world before we serving to our client or a user we can see easily and it is a simple way to check our web code before sending it to the server so here we have to first required to check our local host for that the simple command is curl local host we can see our local host is working here now welcome to nginx like that or the nginx web server is successfully installed on our system it is showing welcome to nginx message is showing on our local host now the next command is cd space var slash www slash html slash into that we are going inside that where it is coming to check that i am using this command cd space slash var www html okay in that file i am going to check list for that using command ls okay so index dot nginx debian dot html means it is available inside our html file that nginx now the next thing is i am going to put something into my html file that will be reflect on my browser window means page so if i'm writing something like welcome to my website the simple message is required to display on my browser page and it will be we, we can check here also for that i'm using command echo 
वेलकम टू माय वेबसाइट दिस मैसेज इज रिक्वायर्ड टू डिस्प्ले ऑन माय वेब ब्राउजर नाउ आई एम पुटिंग दिस इनटू माय एच फाइल दिस इज इंडेक्स डॉट एच सो दिस मैसेज विल बी रिफ्लेक्ट ऑन माय वेब ब्राउजर पेज इन दिस एच फाइल आई पुट इट इन टू माई एच टी एम एल फाइल वेलकम टू माई वेबसाइट नाउ आई वॉन्ट टू चेक माई दिस मैसेज ऑन लोकल होस्ट फॉर दैट कर्ल लोकल होस्ट कमांड वी कैन यूज मीन्स द नेक्स्ट मैसेज विल बी ओनली वेलकम टू माई वेबसाइट कर्ल लोकल होस्ट मीन्स आई एम चेकिंग ऑन माई लोकल होस्ट सो सिंपली दिस विल शो दैट वेलकम टू माई वेबसाइट मीन्स दिस इज वर्किंग लाइक दिस यू कैन डू anything you can write anything on this like eco shridhar desai you can check with your name also you can put it into index dot html file i am going to put my name in that that okay now i am going to check with curl local host command means what my name also will be reflect on my web browser see now my name is reflecting here shridhar desai now that this is the simple way and the sample deployment process of a web application so like this video share this video and subscribe this channel in next video we are going to see lots of things now see here if i am going to terminate this the way you can terminate your instance i am going to terminate so this website going to terminate within 2 3 seconds or it will take hardly 1 minute shutting down now instance state is shutting down here it will take 1 minute related to this number of volume created or information created is deleted related to this you can delete this way also your instance after deleting you cannot perform actions on this virtual machine so your application also destroyed here terminated here if you terminate your application like this in next video we are going to see lots more things about aws cloud so like this video share this video and subscribe the channel and thank you for watching this video